Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about adding support for random drops on enemy death. So the first thing we're going to do is in our enemy character, I'm going to add a new variable. We'll call it drops. This will be of type pickup base class reference. It'll be a map to an integer. So it'll be the class for a drop and then the chance that it drops. So we need to hit compile so that we can put in default value. So we'll just put for our ammo pickup a 40% chance. Next, I'm going to update the BPI mission or the mission blueprint interface. I'm going to add a function called spawn enemy. The input will be the spawn transform, which is type transform. The output will be the enemy, which is just an enemy character. With that updated in our game mode, it now exists here. So in here, we're basically just doing our spawn actor from class. This will be a enemy character. And send along the spawn transform. We're going to use that to find event like we did in the mission tracker. And drag this out in create event to create a matching function, which adds this one over here. We're going to call this on enemy died. And then we return that enemy. In our on enemy died, we're going to use the enemy to get the drops. We're going to get the keys. Oh, no, first we're going to promote that to a local variable. Call that drops. Local variable is not uh, required, but it just makes it a little cleaner. Now we're getting the keys from that so that we can do a for each loop. In the for each loop, we want to have our drops map, we'll call find, and use that to get the integer chance. We're also going to call random integer in range, we want this from 1 to 100 inclusive. And as long as that is less than or equal to the drop chance. We will spawn actor. This will be this class. And we can get the enemy that was sent in. Get the enemy's location. Split out this transform so they can set the transform location.
we want this to always spawn. And lastly, we need to update our mission tracker where the enemy was previously spawning. So the mission tracker is still effectively uh, responsible for spawning enemies. But in here, we're going to get our game mode, make sure that it implements that interface, BPI mission. And as long as it does, we'll continue. And now in our loop body, we will all that. Sending in that actor transform as usual. and making sure we're still adding that enemy to the list. Which also needs to be dragged there. And one thing I noticed during testing, I threw out a print statement for the enemy. So when the enemy dies, it will just print out the name of the enemy. Show the log. I'll use the shotgun. So you can see there, two, five. So that message is being sent multiple times. Uh, the reason is because the shotgun is shooting multiple projectiles, and every one of them is calling, or rather, is setting a the damage. So in our enemy character, every time our health changes and the value is less than zero, then call enemy died will happen. So instead, I am going to put a branch in here. And this will be if it's not already dead. Then it can set it and call the uh, the delegate. And now they're each getting called once, and you can see that there's a drop. If you were paying attention, I'll just do it again. You can see that both the mission tracker is working, and the drop functionality is working, which means more than one thing can be hooked up to that uh, dispatcher slash delegate. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.